Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my declutter series. So this is obviously a pre-recorded intro. It has been for the entire series. I don't know what video this is even is. Let's be real. So last time I did my declutter series, which if you haven't seen, I will link my entire declutter playlist right up here for you guys to go ahead, check those out, see what I purged last time around and if I did just as well this time. Some places I did and some I didn't. So, take your bets down below. What, what area did I fail at, you know, decluttering? Please do not leave me comments down below asking if I can send you specific items that were decluttered. I have either done one of the following three things. If it is brand new or only slightly touched, it either was sent for donation or put in a future giveaway pile because I do plan on doing another giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers. Or it was given to friends and family who had expressed interest in getting to use the product. So without further ado, let's, you know, let's jump into the declutter, shall we? Hi guys, so today we are continuing on with my face palettes. This is everything that was in my face palette drawer which isn't located under here. It's actually the opposite corner of this desk. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with this guy. This is my, one of the Juvia's Place Z palettes. This holds all my sh pans. If you, guys, this, this is in so many videos, but I've got a couple of NARS products in here, some Tarte blushes, the Makeup Geek contour powders, and MAC blushes, and then Makeup Geek blushes in here. So this guy I'm keeping because I, in theory, don't see myself getting rid of any of these blushes or products soon, so keeping this. Um, next in here, I have the Ofra Professional Makeup Blush Palette. Here is my issue with this palette. One, the mirror is epically tiny. Like, it should have been the entire size of this pan, but that's a different issue. Um, also, the other thing that drives me nuts is that the names of these blushes are not on here. Um, I keep meaning to buy myself a label maker just, you know, for my own personal use. And once I do, I'm going to go onto Ofra's website and find the blushes and their corresponding names and, you know, label maker them underneath them or something. Atticus, this isn't about you. So I do like these blushes and I do... Seriously? Thank you. Um, and I do like the idea of getting to travel with this in the near future when I start going on trips and stuff. So I'm going to hold on to this guy. Um, the Anastasia Glow Kit. So I have the Gleam and the Sugar Kit. The Gleam Kit is my OG, my baby girl. I'm not getting rid of this one. I love it to bits and pieces. The Sugar Palette. Atticus, it's not a bug. It's a nail, you dum-dum. The Sugar one, I love. I just don't know if I can justify keeping it. So I'm gonna go through all the rest of the highlight palettes and then at the end decide if I'm gonna keep this guy. He's going in the maybe pile right here for now. The Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. Um, you know, this is nice, this is great. But to be honest, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. It's a nice palette, it works. I've tried all the colors at least once, but I just don't reach for it as much as I do like the other colorful kits I've got. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass on him. The Smashbox Blush Bronzer and Highlight Kit. This is beautiful, this is pretty. I'm still on the fence about getting rid of it because I've used the highlight shades in here are beautiful and I do actually like a majority of the blush shades. Granted, there are some blush shades in here that I just would not reach for like True Flush down here is a little bit too dark, and same with Rich Berry is a tad bit too dark. But I think for now, he's gonna go in the maybe pile. I want to keep it, but I know I should probably get rid of it. Um, the Elf, what are you called? The Elf Total Face Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I just, I'm not a fan of it. The blushes are too similar. The pan sizes are kind of annoying for the brushes that I use, so he's going bye-bye. This I just got, and I'm still trying out. This is the Balm Girls Getaway Trio. It gives you three blushes, Balm Springs, Balm Beach, and Balm Desert. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this guy for now. My Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit is my OG. He's going nowhere. He's staying. Um, this is also new, and I'm actually really loving it. This is the ColourPop In Nudendo Palette. I am going to keep him. The Hourglass Edit Volume 3, y'all know, I have used this in like 12 different videos in a row. I'm keeping him, I think it's beautiful. And I love Hourglass products, so why don't we just skip the drama right here and now. We know I'm keeping these. This is the um, Ambient Lighting Palette, I love this. This is the original one. 
the shade in the middle here, which is the Effer Incandescent Effervescence in Individual, is just beautiful. This is the Metallic Strobe Highlighting Palette. Again, beautiful, gorgeous, blinding, keeping. Um, the Maybelline Master Bronze. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm just not really a fan of it. Um, I've tried everything in here. I, I just, it doesn't work well for me and my skin tone is the problem here. So I'm just going to get rid of him. Um, let's do, let's do this guy. This is the Tarte Hamptons Weekender Palette. This is a really cute little palette, but I ended up, the size of these just drives me crazy. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass. I'm just going to get rid of him. He's, it's good quality. I just... Can't get over how small these pan sizes are. It makes it really hard to dip the face brush in them. The Smashbox and Casey Holmes Spotlight Palette in Pearl. I am keeping. I love this guy. I hate the packaging, but I love the product. Um, let's do those together. The NARS Narcissist Unfiltered 2 Cheek Palette. I'm going to go ahead and pass it. I've had it for a while, and I reach for it, oh. I reach for it occasionally, but not enough. I'm just, he's going to go away. As beautiful as he is. The, <laughs> uh, the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean Demental No Tails palette. I am keeping. I really like it. Um, I also really like the packaging. I think it's adorable. The movie was absolutely awful. But it does come with a really nice mirror. And it does, you know, this white highlight shade just... Look at that. I mean, look at that. Beautiful, keeping it. Also keeping this, this is the NARS Board de Plage Highlight and Bronzer Palette. This one, so I don't know why, but maybe it's because I love the formula of these bronzers and actually, to be honest, the bronzers, it's not the end of the world if I can't get into these because I do have them individually as well, but the highlights are the perfect size to get into those, so I am keeping him. He is nice. Um, what do we have here? Oh, the Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter Collection. I'm just going to get rid of it. I, you know, I only need so many colored highlight palettes and this guy I just don't need. This I am keeping for sure. The Sam Marcel Luxurious Highlight Palette. This is freaking amazing. It's not super expensive and it's beautiful and it's gorgeous and you need to try it. Try this guys, you will not be disappointed. Um, ColourPop Duos, oh, I'm on the fence. Okay, so this one is in a shade I don't remember. I'm gonna get rid of him because I just don't reach for it. This one I'm keeping because he's brand new. This is the Clockwork Highlighting Cheek Duo um, that I just did in my ColourPop Spring Collection review, I will. I will link it up here for y'all if you haven't seen that, but I'm going to keep this for now um, just because I like it and I see myself using it. You know what? Mm -hmm. Do I want to keep you? You know, I'm just going to keep them both. Okay, here we go. Anastasia Moonchild is going nowhere. He is staying. Well, I mean, I don't use like Purple Horseshoe and Blue Moon, but I do use these guys, so... The Saharan Blush Volume 2. I tried to make this work. I really did. I just can't. And the other one's way too dark for me to use, so I'm gonna pass on this. Um, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I will keep as, actually, uh, this is going in the maybe pile. I like this, and I like that it's refillable, which is what makes me want to keep it, but I'm not sure. I'm on the fence. The Tardis Pro Glow is definitely staying. He is one of my favorites as well. Love this. I'm not doing so well with the face palettes, guys. Um, these Ulta blush palettes. I have some mixed feelings. This is Peach Pop, and then there's Mad for Mauve. So I think I'm going to get rid of both of these. Um, I just feel like... The quality is not amazing. It's not mind blowing. The packaging is on the cheaper side because it is Ulta brand. Um, it does give you a lot of products and they are very versatile, but I just don't reach for these. So they're done. And these guys I am keeping because they are absolutely stunning. This is the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlight Color Palette. This is beautiful and amazing and gorgeous and you need it. And then there's the Spotlight Highlight Palette, which is the same boat. This is amazing. This is gorgeous, and you need it. 
keeping both of those. Now we're back to the maybe pile. The, okay. I'm going to get rid of the Smashbox cheek palette. And for now, I'm gonna keep both of these. You know, I don't think I have another palette that really has these, and since I got rid of that Wet n Wild one, I'm gonna keep this guy for now. Well, let me just really quickly, just really quickly show you guys on my arm. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of it. And I'm gonna keep the Shade and Light Contour Palette. 11 and 19, I mean, that's pretty good for me. You know what, I'm gonna make it one third I'm gonna keep the Smashbox palette. I, I can't, I can't resist, guys. This guy's staying, he's, he's staying. I can't do it to myself. So I'm keeping 20, getting rid of 10. That's a third, straight up 33% or whatever. I'm okay with that. I've done really well. Um, yeah, it just doesn't look like much, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for the face palettes. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next declutter. Bye.